The immune checkpoint inhibitors are a class of agents that lead to the activation of the immune system in fighting cancer cells, and this is achieved by removing the breaking system, one of the breaks, on the immune system, which is actually controlled by a series of uh, controlling mechanisms, some stimulating it and some inhibiting it. But one of the key inhibiting uh, effects is through a, an interaction between PD-1, which is shown as a receptor on T cells in the figure on the left at the bottom, and PD-L1, which is uh, a, a ligand or what attaches to the receptor, and that is on the tumor cell. And when PD-1 and PD-L1 interact, this leads to inactivation of the T cell and uh, suppression of an immune response. So these uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors can remove the breaking system as uh, monoclonal antibodies that block either PD-1 or PDL1, and those uh, antibodies are shown in the figure on the right at the bottom. And when you get that kind of interference, it takes off a break and can lead to activation, stimulation of the immune system. And we've seen in clinical trials that uh, several of these immune checkpoint inhibitors lead to improvement in survival and good and very prolonged responses in some patients with lung cancer and other types of cancer. So these agents have been approved by the FDA, at least a couple of these agents, one called Opdivo or Nivolumab, and another called uh, Keytruda or Pembrolizumab. As of late 2015, these have been approved by the FDA in previously treated patients. And this leads to the obvious question of whether these immunotherapy agents may be as good or better than standard chemotherapy with uh, potentially fewer side effects, because in fact that's what we've seen in the trials of previously treated patients, is that they uh, not only are very active, but have fewer side effects. And so there are a couple, or actually several, trials going on, and I'm going to highlight uh, just two uh, today. The first is called Empower 110, and this is with the agent atezolizumab. It has not yet been approved by the FDA, but it is a PDL1 inhibitor that is given IV and has certainly shown good activity in uh, patients with lung cancer and some other types of cancer. But here, the study is directly comparing atezolizumab, IV every three weeks, to either cisplatin or carboplatin combined with Olympta, pemetrexid, which is one of the more common, more active, and, and certainly good agents or combinations in first-line treatment of advanced lung cancer. This is a trial that is uh, going on in a few hundred uh, centers around the world and uh, will be accruing 400 patients and will be directly testing whether this uh, immune checkpoint inhibitor is as effective, more effective, less effective, as well as how the tolerability compares uh, to standard chemotherapy. The primary endpoint is progression-free survival, the time before patients uh, show that their cancer is growing significantly. Another trial is looking at immunotherapy directly compared to chemotherapy and actually looking at a single agent approach versus an immune combination versus chemotherapy, and that's called the Checkmate 227 trial. This trial allows patients with either squamous or non-squamous uh, non-small cell lung cancer to be randomized to either Opdivo alone every two weeks, Opdivo with the CTLA-4 uh, inhibitor uh, Yervoy or Ipilimumab, and this is another way of inhibiting the immune system that may combine to lead to greater activity, but also greater toxicity uh, when given with Opdivo. Uh, this this uh, combination or single agent versus standard chemotherapy of cisplatin or carboplatin with, for patients with non-squamous histology, Olympta or Pemetrexid, or in the patients with squamous histology, Gemzar, Gemcitabine, because uh, 
uh, Olympta is not active in squamous histology. For the patients who are getting Opdivo alone or in combination, there's going to be a maintenance with Opdivo every two weeks. This study will accrue almost 2,000 patients and uh, will be done around the world and is looking at two primary endpoints, one of overall survival and also progression-free survival. There are links at the bottom of the page where you can learn more about these trials, and I encourage you to look into them if you might be eligible. Take care.